recent times, you may have seen in the press, there have been some uh, arguments and discussions amongst secular cosmologists uh, along the line that maybe actually the planet Earth, in fact, or our galaxy, is somewhere near the centre of the universe. This sort of, this is the, brings back the sort of concepts that we heard with the pre-Copernican era, and there's a lot of discussion about this. But connected to this are fundamental questions that physicists, cosmologists, and so on at attempt or, or wish to answer. And one of the most fundamental questions of all is, how did the universe begin? And I want to start at this point because about a year and a half ago, Professor Stephen Hawking, with a co-author, and you know Professor Stephen Hawking is meant to be the smartest man on, alive on Earth today, right? Everyone agree with that? That's what they say. He occupies the same seat that Sir Isaac Newton once occupied. And for the last 40 years, he's tried to solve this problem of how did the universe begin? You see, he utterly rejects the notion or the idea that biblical history could be true. Now this question many scientists would regard as one of the most profound questions of all, but to Stephen Hawking the question doesn't even exist. Now let me explain this to you. Essentially he's saying that you can't even ask the question, how did the universe begin? The problem is he views the origin of the universe as actually some sort of uh, summation of various histories. Not just one unique history, but a sum of various histories. Now that starts, starts to sound to me like a, some sort of a religious belief. I don't know if it does to you.